were hired to go out and fly the area to collect LiDAR data, which is going to be used to compare post and pre-construction conditions where they could confirm that the marsh was restored the way it needed to be and calculate quantities of fill material if needed. Final deliverables is going to be a point cloud data set and then the photo of the project area. They'll use the data to check against the design criteria that was set forth for the project and then verify that everything meets the engineer level design. With the field work complete, our pilots in the field return the data to the office for us to begin processing. The first step would be to process our control and trajectory files. Then we will process the LiDAR point cloud and finally process an ortho mosaic from the aerial imagery that was captured. All right, we're going to go through the process here of uh, processing one of these flights for LiDAR and photogrammetry. So I'm going to start with the Planix POSPAC UAV. And so what I have just done is brought this trajectory file, this T04 file, into POSPAC. So each of these triangles you see here is a photo event, and the purple line is your flight trajectory. So my next step would be to bring in our GNSS file from our base receiver that was running during the flight. Okay, so now I've got a correct coordinate. Now I want to process the GNSS. This will be used to uh, create the point cloud. Now we go to the inertial processor and we process the inertial. All that information will get fed into both MD LiDAR and PIX4D in order to accurately represent the point cloud in the photo. The last step here in this program is to go into the camera settings and create what's called a photo ID file. So I'm gonna export the photo ID file. And all that is is a file that contains the event time and the photo that's associated with that event. So the next step is to go into MD LiDAR. We got six raw LiDAR files that'll get processed and it'll write out LAS files, which is kind of an industry standard uh, LiDAR format. So my last step here, will be to set up the photo processing. So I'm gonna go into PIX4D. So once I've got a project created, I just add the photo folder. And when I bring that in, now each photo's got a latitude, longitude, altitude, and horizontal and vertical accuracy estimates. So that's it, you tell it what you got coming in, what you want coming out, and then I set it to process. I'm telling it I want it to go through the whole processing, which is the initial matching and then the point cloud creation and then the photo creation and then i just hit start and that's it that's the entire process okay so we've just brought the six lidar files into the trimble software i'm going to turn off the those center points. And I'm going to turn off that grid because that stuff's just a distraction. And I'm going to color this instead of just this grayscale where you can't really tell anything. I'm going to color this by elevation. Then I'm going to, just going to, as my last step, I'm going to go into a 3D view and I'm just going to kind of give it to once over and see that, as I thought, there is kind of a little embankment running through here, if you can kind of see that. That's uh, 10 times exaggerated vertical. In other words, the scale of the vertical is 10 times the scale of the horizontal. So you're gonna see every little bit of noise and everything in here. But when I go back to one to one, that's gonna flatten right back out. But because it's so flat out there, I just wanted to look at it in this 10 to one ratio, just to kind of see what's going on. Based on this one flight, I think the project's going to be a complete success. Uh, we should be able to get it out on time, under budget, and the client should be pleased with the results. NEI and Morris P.A. Bear have been partners going back 30 years. It's great to be in alignment with them from a geospatial perspective, and you know it's been great to be a part of their vision for unmanned aircraft. At the end of the day, the payoff is a successful mission, a successful client, and, and great deliverables. That's, that's how we make it work. Everything working together with one common goal in mind.